Hello, everybody. It's time for Children's Church. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us for Children's Church today. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this opportunity to come together with our friends and our family and to worship you. Help us to always remember to put you first in everything that we do. We just thank you so much for all the blessings that you give us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, I hope you remember our Bible verse. All this month, we're talking about the wonderful gift that God sent to us. And that gift was His Son, Jesus. And that Son came in the form of a little bitty baby. But He grew up and He ended up performing many miracles. And He even did the biggest miracle of all. And that was to sacrifice His own life for us so that if we believe in Him, we can have eternal life. That means we can live with Him forever so that when we die, that's not the end. We will live again in heaven if we put our faith in Jesus. So you just think about that this month and every day. And I hope one day you'll decide to make that decision and ask Jesus into your heart. Okay, let's get back to the Bible verse, which is all about the beginning of it. Mr. Monk, will you put it up there, please? Our Bible verse says, God has given a son to us. And that's from Isaiah 9, 6. All right, stand up. Let's do our motions. Here we go. God has given a son to us. Isaiah 9, 6. Good job. Let's do that again. Okay, say it loud this time. God has given a son to us. Isaiah 9, 6. All right, our Bible stories today are going to tell about that special birth of Jesus. And I've got some extra songs in there this week that I think you're going to enjoy that are about Christmas. So you pay attention. We're not going to go in the same order as we do always. So you just be ready for whatever happens. I'll see you at the end. Bye-bye. And heaven and heaven and nature sing. J to the O to the Y. I got the J to the O to the Y. J to the O to the Y. I got the J. Some of us are happier because we know Cause we got know. this little bit. 
Yes, the nation's proof the glories of His righteousness and wonders of His love and wonders of His love and wonders of His love. And wonders of his love. Joy, joy, joy. I got the joy. I got the joy. My name is Haley, and we are getting so close to the big day. Of course, I'm talking about Christmas. Christmas is celebrating Jesus, God's greatest gift. Christmas is a time of great celebration year after year, but it can also be a time of great conflict. People argue over how many presents are under the tree, what Christmas movie they want to watch, who gets the last candy cane, and decorations. Multicolored lights or solid color lights. Big bulbs or little bulbs. Twinkle or no twinkle. It can be exhausting for some people, but not me because I've got a plan. This year, my plan is to put up all the lights. Big, small, solid, twinkling. I even got some that play music. They're all going up. <laughs> that way, everyone's happy, right? <sighs> Let's get to work. Gentlemen, I give you Haley's perfect Christmas plan. Oh, what did I? Uh, well, here we go. One more time. <laughs> one more time. One more time. Haley's perf. Haley's Christmas plan. Haley's perfect Christmas plan. It's perfect. <laughs> Just want to say, God! Oh no, Ugh, the lights aren't working. You know what that means. If one light is out, then they all go out. So somewhere in this extravaganza of light, there is a single light bulb that is not working. Ugh, I should have planned this out better. Wait a second. Good thing I have one of these. A light bulb tester. I just have to test each bulb all of 2875 of them. Woo! All right. In today's story, a young lady named Mary is put to the test. Will she try to make it on her own or will she trust that there's a greater plan? Hmm. Now, where to begin? <sighs> The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story. Inspired by the book of Luke, Chapter 1, verses 26 through 56. Mary of Nazareth was ordinary. True story. An ordinary young woman with an ordinary name, engaged to an ordinary carpenter named Joseph. She lived in an ordinary small town, far from any city that really mattered. In fact, years later, someone would ask, can anything good come from Nazareth? But even though Mary seemed so very ordinary, her heart was not. She loved and trusted God. 
Even though her people had been ruled over by the Romans for centuries, Mary believed God's promise that someday he would send a rescuer. Blessed are you, O God, our Lord, King of the universe. But no matter how much Mary loved God, she could never have predicted what would happen one ordinary morning. Dishes clean, floor swept, need to fetch water from the well. Mary's morning chores were interrupted by a shimmering flash of light. Oh! A blazing angel stood before her. Its presence seemed to fill the entire room. Mary, the Lord has blessed you in a special way. He is with you. I... I don't understand. Do not be afraid, Mary. God is very pleased with you. God is pleased with me? You will become pregnant and give birth to a son. You must call him Jesus. He will be great, the son of the Most High God. The Lord God will make him a king like his father David of long ago. His kingdom will never end. Dozens of questions raced through Mary's mind. How can this happen? I'm not even married yet. The Holy Spirit will make it happen. In fact, your relative Elizabeth is going to have a baby, even though she is old and people thought she could not have children. That's because what God says will always come true. Mary's mind was still reeling, but she knew she could trust God through all of it. I serve the Lord. May it happen to me just as you said it would. The angel left, the room dimmed. Mary sat down to gather her thoughts. A baby? God's son? I've got to see Elizabeth. As quickly as she could, Mary found a group traveling to the hill country of Judea where Elizabeth lived. After long days on the road, Mary reached the home of Elizabeth and Zechariah. Why, it's Mary. Mary hugged her much older relative. Elizabeth, you really are going to have a baby. As Mary spoke, Elizabeth's baby kicked and rolled inside her. Oh, God has blessed you more than other women and blessed is the child you will have. Why is God so kind to me? Why has the mother of my Lord come to me? How, how did you know? As soon as I heard the sound of your voice, the baby inside me jumped for joy. You are a woman God has blessed. You have believed the Lord would keep his promises to you. Could I stay with you for a while? Of course. It's too quiet around here anyway. Why is that? Zachariah hasn't said a word in more than six months. My goodness. Long story. He met an angel. Gabriel? That's the one. Come in, sit down, have some tea. During the time Mary stayed with Elizabeth, the joy in her heart overflowed. My soul gives glory to the Lord. My spirit delights in God, my Savior. He has taken note of me even though I am not considered important. He has always remembered to be kind, just as he promised to our people long ago. Mary was just beginning to see how God's amazing plan would unfold. She stayed with Elizabeth for three months, and then she returned home. Okay, this is it. The last bulb I have to check. But before I do, can you imagine what it must have been like to be Mary? She probably had all kinds of dreams and plans for her life, and then BOOM! She's visited by an angel of the Lord and everything changes. But get this, God's plan for Mary was bigger and better than any plans she may have had for herself. She went from being Mary, an ordinary girl from the city of Nazareth, to Mary, the girl we read about every year who carried God's son into the world. That's some plan. This may surprise you. God still has a plan, and his plan is bigger and better than any plans we may make for ourselves. Because, you see, sometimes our plans fail. Sometimes our plans and someone else's plans are in conflict. Grrr! 
but we can celebrate knowing that when God has a plan, it never fails. His plan is the perfect plan, and you can trust Him no matter what. The best time to remember that is when things aren't going the way you want or expect. Could be that God sees something in your circumstance that you don't see. So here's the one thing to remember today. Celebrate because God has a plan. All right, let's check this last light bulb. Maybe God has a plan for the big finish. <laughs> huh, what? This one works too. Well, all the light bulbs are working. I guess it's important to point out now that we won't always understand God's plan. And that's okay. I'll see you next time. Bye. <gasps> I'm Hayden. 
I found this great box of alphabet magnets while decorated for Christmas. So I put them all in order. Can you sing the alphabet song with me? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. I've got to put up the rest of the letters. What comes after I? H, I, J. That's it. Now we have to find the letter J. Is this the letter J? <laughs> no, this isn't a J. Is this the letter J? No, this isn't a J. Is this the letter J? Yes, it is. This is the letter J. It starts up here and it swoops down. J is for jumping jacks. J is for jelly. Yum. The letter J is so great, I'm putting it right here after the letter I. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Hayden. Who? Who? Working on the alphabet, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. We got all the way to the letter J. Learning your letters is great. It's true. And I have an amazing J word for you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Hoo, hoo. Follow me through. Follow me through. Hoo. I've got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hey there. Merry Christmas. I'm Justin the Mailman. Look at all of these Christmas cards. This one says, Merry Christmas. Christmas starts with the letter C. And this one says, joy. That starts with the letter J. That reminds me of our story today. It's about a very special baby whose name starts with the letter J. I can't wait to tell you about it. I'll just put the story mail in the mailbox and... Today's part of the true story of Christmas begins with Mary and Joseph. They lived in the town of Nazareth, but they needed to go all the way to the city of Bethlehem to be counted. Do you see Bethlehem all the way back there? That's where Joseph was from, and that's where they needed to go. But Mary was going to have a baby. That means she couldn't walk all that way. She needed a ride. What do you think Mary rode to Bethlehem? Do you think she took the bus? No. Did she ride on the train? No, she didn't ride the train. She didn't ride a bus or a train. She probably rode on an animal, like a donkey. What does a donkey say? Hee-haw, hee-haw. Okay, on to Bethlehem. Once Mary and Joseph got to Bethlehem, they needed to find a place to stay. So they looked around the town for somewhere to rest. They knocked on door A. But there wasn't any room there. They knocked on door B. But there wasn't any room there either. Oh no, where are Mary and Joseph going to stay? They knocked on door C. Oh, wow! The innkeeper didn't have any room inside, but he told Joseph and Mary that they could stay in his stable. Now, a stable is a place where people keep their animals, and it was in that stable, with all of the animals, that something amazing happened. A very special baby was born, and Mary named him Jesus. J is for Jesus. Everyone say, J is for Jesus. J is for Jesus. God loves us so much that he gave us Jesus. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, how do we know God loves us? God gave us Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, 
How do we know God loves us? God gave us Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story, and it's all true. God gave us Jesus for me and for you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, Jesus was born in a stable. God loves us so much that he gave us Jesus. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I know what else J is for. J is for Jesus. Bye, see you next time. Thank you again for joining us today. I hope you had a good time, and I hope you celebrate Jesus' birth all this month. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for that precious gift that you've given us. Help us to share your love with others. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right. I started not to do a joke this week because we went a little bit longer, but I just couldn't leave you without one. Here it is. What did Adam say the day before Christmas? Do you know, Mr. Monk? He does, but he's not telling. On the day before Christmas, 
Adam said, It's Christmas, Eve. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.